so a very good morning all of you so today we are looking at exercise number 5 where we are going to explore the uh, resource requirement so we will be creating a resource quota and then we will try to create a call uh, uh, create a pod in the same name space in which we have defined the resource requirements and then we will try to create a pod in the same name space which is trying to exceed some of the specifications uh, which have been mentioned in the resource uh, quota as a kubernetes object right uh, and then we will be getting certain errors so without any delay let us get started so the first thing i am going to do is i am going to create uh, one particular yaml file and so let's try to do that so uh, rather i will create here uh, let's try to do that if i get a new file and i would say yaml i would say uh, rq.yaml so here we will be defining our resource quota requirements so if i go back to my uh, github repository if i try to copy in a minute i will be explaining you what i what i am going to do here so if you uh, see this particular file here the object the kubernetes object here is resource quota and we have given the name of this particular resource quota as app and then we have specified some of the hard limits the number of the pods can be 2 the number of the cpus can be 2 and uh, the memory uh, that can be assigned uh, to the pod that should not exceed 500 megs right so let me try to save this particular file and if i go back to my terminal the first thing i am going to do is i will be creating a namespace so let's try to create a namespace i would say a namespace and the namespace name i will be giving rq demo if i try to list the name space you should be able to see that the resource requirement demo uh, is has already been created the second thing i am going to do is i will be creating minus f i will be making the use of uh, rq this is the file and i need to specify the name space here rq demo so you can see that we have successfully created a resource quota the so first thing we did is uh, we created a resource uh, uh, we created a namespace and in the same namespace we have basically created a resource quota okay and now what i am going to do is now if i try to describe this resource quota i would say a resource quota and if i specify the namespace rq demo so you can see that uh, we are trying to uh, describe the resource quota under the namespace rq demo so you can see that these are the hard limits number of the pods can be 2 number of the cpus can be 2 whatever we have defined in our yaml file right now the second thing i am going to do is now we need to create one more file here so let's try to do that i will moving on to the vs code and i will be creating a new file so let's file i will be giving yaml case and here so let, let's say rq1.yaml this is the file i am going to create so in a moment and i will be going back to my repo and i will be uh, just give me a second i will be explaining you what i am going to do here so here i am basically specifying the specifications for example you can see this particular file we will be using to create a pod and here if you can see we have specified the number of the cpus as 0.5 and the memory we have specified here is 1 gig and if you uh, try to recollect whatever the resource quota we have defined so far and that basically specifies the memory cannot be more than 500 megs so let's try to make a use of this particular file i will be getting back to my terminal once again so create minus f and the file name which we have just created to create a pod and i will be explicitly specifying the namespace which is nothing but rq demo so if you can see on my screen uh, we are getting certain error my pod is forbidden exceed quota and you can see that the memory limit has already been exceeded and if i try to go back to my vs code if i try to make changes to this particular file let's specify here in megs so hopefully now it should work as intended if i save this 
and if I try to run this particular command once again, you can see that my pod has already been created. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to describe a resource quota once again and I would explicitly specify the namespace as our queue demo and if you see here uh, you know you can see the hard limit which we have put here and the number of the pods which we have created in the same namespace right so you can see that number of the CPUs which uh, which we have specified is 2 and we have we have uh, we are only using 0.5 CPU as of now and similarly for the memory we have used half of the memory so this is what we intend to cover in the exercise number 5 and I will see you in the subsequent exercise. Thank you.